out of my mind what to say so uh, without any further ado my name is Alex D. Fiore uh, today's Tuesday April 26 2016 uh, yeah I just spent the uh, past couple days at my parents house and um, you know I was thinking about this whole concept of, uh, of family and and how you know part of the American dream is to go to college and to get the degree, and uh, and with that degree you gotta, you know, make uh, make a living for yourself. You know, you, you get your full-time job, and hopefully it's gonna, you know, take care of your student loans. And then after that, you start to have your know, personal goals. You know, you want to get married. You want to, excuse me, take trips, uh, build, you know, you know, whatever comes to mind. Uh, and um, somewhere along the way, you know. We get put into the, into this mentality, this of you got to have a house, right? And then and then once you got the house, and, and then right there, bam, it's something to take care of. And then you start to fix it up, and you know, and you, and, you know, you learn all this stuff on the, uh, on how to you know how to build you know a living room table or whatever furniture you know stuff that you uh, that that is going to help bring your place to life and you know and then you gotta stick with your job because now you know you got fixed monthly expenses and and then your wife gets pregnant and then you get the kid on the way and then that's you know it's more bills so you gotta you know find take out a loan or you or you or you, you apply for a second job so now you're working you know like my father used to do 20 to 20 20 out of the 24 hours of the day you're on the road you're your work, whatever, you can barely, you know, piss, take care of your, your bodily functions, whatever. And then, uh, you know, and there comes a point in your life where you look back and you say, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, hold the phone. <clears throat> and then you ask yourself, am I really living the life that I, that I want, you know? Is this, uh, is this all it's about, you know? I mean, so they put us into these, into these house, Houses, right? So we, we we buy into the concept of of house being, yeah. I just scratched my nuts. House being, um, I do shower every day. It's just you know, once in a while. Anyway, um, we, we we put ourselves into this house mentality where, you know, it's like uh, it's this confined s space where we think that uh, well, we're expected to, you know, to to pay for you know, for our living space and, you know, and then we, we procreate so we bring more people into said living space and then before you know it, it's, you know, you're like, you're just, you're, you're just part of the, the machine. You're just, you know, insert coin receive widget. It's just, it becomes so mechanical and, um, you know, thinking back to when I was in college, um, my first experience of really understanding how business and family can successfully uh, interrelate is, um, or marry, so to speak, is um, it was was uh, my buddy from Ecuador, uh, Louis, and you know, and his family, because I actually took a trip down to Ecuador and I and I met them all, and you know, it was like. I mean, those guys down there, you know, with very moderate, you know, means of income and, you know, less resources, so to speak, that are available to them, you know, because the whole mentality of, you know, you know, America is where everyone goes to get their education and land of opportunity and, you know, a White House with the yellow picket fence and the fucking dog and whatever else, you know, that makes all this happy, poor shit, Hollywood mentality, uh, you know, reality distorted mindset, your reality is that, you know, from my my perspective, in the two weeks that I was that I was visiting them, they've got a much healthier 
understanding and concept of family than anyone in this country who I've experienced in the totality of my 41 years of existence. Believe it or not. Okay, I mean, the, their mother, you know, they have their, their grandparents living with the parents, living with the kids. Um, you know, granted, it was a big house, and yes, he owns an excru a cable extrusion company, and, they, you know, with, and then I'm sure they make bank doing that, but um, I mean, the idea here is that, you know, they all understand that, that united together, they will succeed. And, you know, I mean, Lewis now has got probably like, you know, four or five kids, you know, um, at least two, I know two for sure. Anyway, um, his brothers are also, you know, happily married and they themselves are parents and, you know, their parents are still in love and, you know, happily married. I mean, I, all these details, obviously, I, I, I don't know, I could be way off, I mean, but from what, from the outside looking in, when I was down there, it was like, it, it was very, it was it made very clear to me, it was very apparent that they understood the concept of, you know, of keeping it tight, you know, a tight-knit family, and, you know, over here I just see a lot of either, even if they're not rich, you know, that, you know, they have, they, they spend their money on their cell phones, you know, and their internet connection, and, and, you know, and everyone's, like, tethered to this rectangular glass screen that they walk around with all day long, that becomes their lifeline, and they need their space, but yet they they really don't stir up any emotional contagion. I like to use that word a lot. Anyway, um, to, so as to create a reason to detach themselves from that, you know, emotionally high-strung boiler room type environment. It's just like. The less interaction that they have, the less they feel compelled to want to interact or motivated to interact. And so they're just like, okay, I need uh, my phone, I need my internet, and I'm good. And it's me and my 1,200 square foot apartment, you know, and that's it. You know, it's just, there's no there's just something noticeably absent and and what I found is that you know I don't know whether it's just generation X or Y or Z whatever my generation okay um, that you know we've had all this pressure that has been put upon us by our parents to make a living for ourselves to make a name for ourselves to to you know become successful that if we don't do any of the above, then we're left with this shell of a, of a living space, of, of an existence, where everything is put up for display so as to give the appearance of keeping up with the Joneses, but there's no substance to it. So it's all, it's, it's just all empty shells. And so that's kind of like, you know, yeah, where I am right now, I mean, in my life, it's just not... And how weird is it for me to be actually talking to a camera, to, to, you know, in, <laughs> and addressing this in a, in, a, in a public forum viewing space instead of, you know, with like two or three buddies from college or a family member. Makes sense, doesn't it? But no, I'm talking to my friggin iPhone and it's like really is, is this what I mean is this what life is really boiled down to I mean you know college degree speaks three languages doesn't have no wife no kids can travel freely I mean I don't even my, my name's not even on the mortgage of the house not that it's any, anybody's business but you know it's just like I have no reason to essentially live here yet because, and sadly I have my, my parents living down the road from me who they are, too, are in too big of a house that 
for their living situation, for, you know, it was the expected that they were to have the birds fly out of the nest, thereby leaving them with a decision to make, which is to sell the house and downsize so as to take care of less house space and more give more time for them to do the things that really you know that that will help them strengthen their you know their inter, their personal relationship as a married couple instead of the fucking 40 year role that they've been playing thus far being parents to my sister and I sometimes I do throw in a few expletives uh, hopefully my airing this after prime time hours at night will be justifiable reason to turn a blind eye to my curse words. Um, anyway, I'm done.